Let that sink in. How can you look forward to heaven knowing that your children are headed for hell? Amen. It goes on to say, when a parent talks to their teenager regularly about the dangers of drugs and alcohol, they lessen the chance of their child using drugs by 42%. However, only 25% of teens report on actually having these conversations with their parents. And there arose a generation that knew not the Lord. Moses told him, you shall teach this unto your children diligently in your home. He didn't say in the church. He said in your home. When you rise up in the morning, when you lay us down, I'm no more spiritual than anybody. I'm trying to help raise these boys. And the only thing I know to do is pray. Pray when we sit down to eat. Pray when we lay down at night. I can't get them up at 3 o'clock in the morning and gather them around the bed. They'd all be healed. <laughs> praise God. But you better leave when the lights, before the lights go out. Do they not, boys? And we thank God. We thank God. It would love the Lord. I got some other things here. And I've been as guilty as this next one. 40% of men are addicted to porn. How can we sing songs of Zion on Sunday morning and go home and download in on that porn? Three hours later. Amen. Lord God. It is a $97 billion industry worldwide. Amen. Almost $100 billion. This next one's going to blow your mind. America only has 3% of the world's population. But it accounts for 10 to $12 billion of that $97 billion worldwide. Somebody in here downloading porn and you think nobody knows about it, and we may very well not know about it. But when you hit that delete button, it's not erased up there. Amen. He sees all and he knows all, and he is not happy. He is not happy. Now, I didn't really want to bring this message tonight. I wanted to, you know what I mean? I wanted to... Michael, man. Lazarus or... or, 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 or. But this is real. This mm -hmm. is real, people. This is the hour we live in. The next thing, in 1970, in 1973, Roe versus Wade. Remember what I said? The psalmist wrote in 17, the wicked shall be turned into hell and all nations shall forget God. In 1973, the Supreme Court, the Supreme Court of this land, thank God we bow to a more enduring Amen. man. A greater ordinance, a higher statute than the Supreme Court. Yes. It don't matter what they're in favor of. It matters what God is in favor of. Amen. Amen. They passed in 1973 Roe versus Wade. Abortion. Anybody want to take a guess at how many abortions that have been committed within the borders of this nation since 1973? Would anybody like to raise their hand and take a guess? In 2016, the number was 58,586,256 unborn innocents. Jesus said it was better that a millstone were hanged about your neck and you were cast into the depths of the sea than the, one of these little ones were offended. And some places the sea is seven and eight miles deep that we know of. That's written in red. The ancient kings in Israel and Judah used to sacrifice their children to the fire god Molech. Yeah. And God's wrath came down on them. I don't know of hurricanes. I don't know of 8.1 magnitude earthquakes. I don't know of all of any of those things. I know that the Bible speaks of earthquakes and things of that sort. I'm not going to speak up and say it's the judgment of God. <coughs> or not. But 60 million. <coughs> 60 million. Where are we at as a people? when we will sacrifice our children to the lust of the night. 
Amen. That's no different than what they did in the Old Testament. None whatsoever. 3,600 abortions performed every day in this country. Oh, let me back up a minute. We're talking about porn. Kid porn mm -hmm. is an $8 billion a year industry. $8 billion. Sick. We are failing. Amen. We are failing. I heard a gospel song the other day by the McCain. He said, we're not praying to change any hearts. We're just getting used to the dark. Mm -hmm. Amen. Lord help us. Amen. Lord help us. Responsibility. Over 700,000 runaway children in this country. One in six adults take a psychiatric, psychiatric drug of some kind, and I don't even know what the kind of drugs are. I know that when my wife went to the doctor a couple of weeks ago, they were quick to put something in her mouth. Right. Made her crazy. I was quick to flush it, too. Praise God. Amen. This is real, people. And this ain't even, I, I got other things here. As we've seen a rapid decrease of belief in God, the teaching of God in our public schools, it didn't happen overnight. Right. Mm -hmm. A strong church don't fall apart overnight. A youth group it, 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 it don't fade away overnight. What was that? I got so many notes around here. Praise God. One in six adults take a psychic drug. Yeah, I got to learn to get my notes back down. Oh yeah, here we go. Incarcerated. The United States has more people incarcerated than any other country in the world. And you have seen the memes or memes or whatever you want to call it on Facebook. They won't allow a Bible in a school. But when you go to jail, they'll encourage it there. Yep. Yep. God bless America, huh? How about America bless God? Amen. Amen. He mentioned it earlier. It was solidified what I was speaking on tonight. Second Chronicles seven fourteen. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and turn, turn from their wicked ways. That word turn means repent. Amen. That I will heal from here from heaven and I will heal their land. That's a promise from God. Amen. You see repentance all throughout the Bible. I like Donald Trump. I really do. I like this man as a president. I don't follow him a whole lot. I think he's, I think he's taking a hard stance. But back when he was running for his campaign, he made a statement that just didn't sit well with me. He said, I don't believe I've ever really done anything that I needed forgiven for. That's what that man said. Well, let me remind him what Jesus said. It is better for a camel to enter the eye of a needle than a rich man to enter the gates of heaven. Right. Those of you who have ever taken part in knocking on doors, I heard, I've never done it. I'd love to do it. I, really, I got so much I want to do, and, and, and I've got to get off my tail as much as anybody in this hour, this end time. I'm trying to minister to the people I work with. I'm inviting everybody to church, pastor to the point where I don't know what else to do, man. I, right. I, I really don't. But, but when you knock on doors in a poor neighborhood, I've heard that those people are more receiving Amen. than when you go knock on a rich land's house. Right. Yep. Every word in this Bible right here is truth. And you see it played out. They all spoke of repentance. John the Baptist got his head cut off for it. He told the king, he didn't walk in and say, oh, great king, live forever. He said, you commit an adultery and you're going to burn in hell for it. They had him killed. Brother Adams spoke on Psalm 51, David's repentant of prayer. The difference in David and Saul was when the man of God approached David, David knelt and knew, knew, he repented. <coughs> Saul had the man of God killed when he was approached. We've got to get a repentant of heart. Amen. John the Baptist preached repentance. Peter preached repentance on the day of on the day of Pentecost. Jesus Christ told him twice in, 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 in the third chapter of John. 
might have been another chapter, but I believe it's in the book of John. Amen. Lest ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. You shall all likewise perish. We're not winning anybody to the Lord. We're losing. Right. We're losing. Right. <coughs> yes, sir. I had a lunch with uh, four other guys this week. You know, it's only Wednesday, so it's this week. And uh, we brought up the Bible and things about the Bible. Two, uh, one of the guys, he does go to the church. But, you know, I just say that he goes to the church. But two of them believe in aliens. Actually believe in aliens. Two of them don't believe that every word in here is true. They want, they want to believe parts of it, but they don't want to believe this whole Bible. This Bible is, is, is you got to take the entire Bible. It's the unadulterated Word of God. But yeah. it's, it's, it's just amazing that anybody can believe in something like that. It just blows just my mind. Brother, uh, I worked with a man the other day that, that yin and yang, whatever that is, yin and yang. So he was raised Catholic. You let that go. Now I don't agree with everything the Catholics. As a matter of fact, I don't know. I really don't know at all. But I had another brother the day that I worked with mentioned purgatory. Purgatory is where when you die, if you're the Catholic. As a matter of fact, it's it's kind of how Rome, the Vatican, got built. When you die, you haven't lived the holiness lifestyle, which the Bible says, without such, no man shall see God. Man. The Bible says that. Whatever you determine to be holiness. And purgatory is where if you live an unrighteous lifestyle and you die, that your loved ones can pay the priest and get you out of hell or out of purgatory. They say so many masses over here. Yeah. I work for a Catholic man that uh, passed away and his wife paid $200 a mass. Yeah. Back in the early 60s, to get him out of purgatory. They, uh, that's not what Jesus Christ said. Amen. 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 Rich man Lazarus, he said, there's a great gulf between Amen. us. Amen. The Bible says, as a tree falls, so shall it lie. That's right. Good, good, good analogy, that. Uh, 